One of the really interesting things that online video has done is it's changed the marketplace for ideas. Gone are the days when just a few talking heads set the uh, agenda for our national discussion. Today, anyone can upload their big ideas to the internet and have a chance of being heard. But how do we access all this information in a useful way? One group on YouTube that's done a good job of bringing some order to this chaotic stream of ideas is a group called Big Think. Now, their mission is to take the national dialogue away from talking heads and to give it back to you. And their methodology is interesting. They get a bunch of experts in the field to sit down for long interviews, and they dice up those clips into different idea segments and allow the public to watch and rank them and also submit ideas of their own. Now, Big Think's YouTube channel has over 100 such videos hubbed together, uh, and the founder of Big Think, Victoria Brown, was nice enough to sit down with us for a short chat about the site, Victoria, thanks for joining us. And I guess the first question is, why did you decide to start Big Think? Well, we sort of saw a need on, in the internet landscape for a place where thoughtful content could be found and users could engage with it. So instead of you, users just uploading videos in response to nothing, we thought that we could create a space where we catalyze the conversation with thoughts and ideas from some of today's most amazing thinkers from every walk of life, from science and technology to policy and politics to business and economics. And so it was sort of, there was sort of a dearth of um, thoughtful content on the internet and we just saw an opportunity to create some. Now you have a lot of great guests on Big Think, everyone from Grover Norquist to Ariana Huffington to Gloria Esteban. Tell us, how do you select the guests for the site and how do you convince them to participate? Well, so we have two ways, really, of choosing guests. We sort of think of about it, is this a topical idea or is this an evergreen topic? And so for our topical ideas, for instance, this being an election year, we've interviewed a lot of the presidential candidates. So from the um, Republican side, we interviewed John McCain and Mitt Romney. And on the Democratic side, before these uh, the sort of front runners were chosen, we had done um, Governor Richardson, and several others, Dennis Kucinich, etc. And we try to think about whether the issue is topical and how long you know we have in, in lead time to get these people. And then if it's an evergreen topic, which most of the content on Big Think is, it's more, more about is this, uh, what, what is the expertise of this person and how can we bring that out and how can we make it accessible to our users and in an hour provide them with the most important information that we think this person can provide in an hour of their time. Now, if your staff are the ones who are actually interviewing these guests, how are you eliminating the mainstream media filter from this? I mean, aren't you asking the questions just like the media would? Well, I don't know that we look, about, look upon the mainstream media as a bad thing. It's just that we do things a little bit differently. And instead of asking just the most pressing questions, in the minds of the media that day, for instance, you know, when if Tom Cruise were to come on asking him about his most immediate relationship qu uh, query, we'd ask him much more about what he does and his, his profession and his area of expertise. Not so much about, you know, something that's in the news for two, two days and then is out of the news. Victoria, who would you say is your most uh, interesting guest that you've had on Big Think so far? Well, it's sort of hard for me to say that because we've interviewed so many people, as I mentioned, from the arts and science to policy and politics to string theorists. Um, and so I'll name a few of the, the more interesting ones. Everybody has been actually has been great. But I think Sir Richard Branson gave a great um, interview and spoke a lot about the environment and what he's doing to help it. That was really good. Um, Senator John McCain spoke about the um, presidential election process and how he came to be where he was. And it's interesting, we interviewed him in December, and so he still had some time to go. And so it was right in the midst of, midst of things. And so seeing his thinking then is, is pretty interesting, and we'll see what he says later. Um, and I also think some of our physicists have been incredibly interesting, like Lisa Randall. She's, she's, she was really, really great and kind of put a simple spin on what she does so that average people or the normal person can understand stand it. And that's really what we try to do. These are some of the most smart people in the world, and we try to make what they do accessible to our audience. Now, of all the ideas topics that you have on the site, 
Which ideas would you say have gained the most popularity on Big Think? Well, I, it's been surprising, actually, because we, we thought that what would spur the most um, responses would, would be our most you know, famous um, participants, but it's actually turned out to be that the conversation really is taking off, driven based upon the idea. And so we've had um, a lot of responses to spiritual type things, and our um, faith and belief section of the site really has a lot of commentary on it. Um, we've also had a lot of responses to our business and economic guests, and that's, I think, in large part because of the insecurities about our economy at the moment. And going forward, I think as things change, we'll have more and more responses to different areas on the site. Oh, also the green area has been pretty robust as well. Okay, two final questions. One, do you have any interesting guests coming up that would be interesting to let us know about? Yes, well, in the field of politics, we have Nancy Pelosi coming on. We're also going to be working on an entertainer series with a lot of top-level entertainers from the fields of acting and music. Um, we also have a lot of great poets, including C.K. Williams, um, Nobel uh, Poet Laureate Billy Collins. Uh, we've had Jonathan Franzen on. And I think we're essentially going to be continuing what we've done, um, trying to get as many amazing people from across the gamut of professions. And so I don't want to name too many people because I think everybody that comes on is, is pretty spectacular. How will you know if Big Think has succeeded? I think that if we hear about it, you know, you go to um, a cocktail party and people are discussing something that they've seen on Big Think, and basically if it becomes part of the fabric of um, conversation, I think that will be some, just a, a big way to show that we've been successful, but also that just people are using it and it's growing um, in its usership on an ongoing basis.